Hi, everybody. Linda from Let's Talk Prepping. And I don't know if you saw in the news the other day that BMW wants to charge $18 a month for you to have heated seats in your vehicle. Now, I know many of you are saying, I don't own a BMW. It's way too expensive for me. But the thing is, once one auto company does this, and I think Tesla did it before, others will start following. And if they need to make money, a subscription plan is a really good way to go. So what you'd have to do is pay to unlock certain features. So right now it's only paying to unlock your heated seats. But anything that's controlled with software can be locked and unlocked. The internet, for example. Maybe you want to plug your phone in. Well, in order for that USB port to be open, you'd have to pay a monthly fee. Heated steering wheel. Your navigation system. Well, right now, if you get Sirius XM, that's a monthly fee, but maybe they charge it just for standard radio, and you'd have to pay it. Anything that's mandated by the government, maybe they're just going to charge an extra fee for that. Uh, how about wireless phone connectivity? They could charge a fee for that. Uh, your your mirrors, your side view mirrors, when they're electric, a charge a fee for that. So there's all kinds of things they can charge a fee for. But what I really wanted to discuss is what's coming in 2026. And this was passed in the infrastructure bill signed by Joe Biden, and it's the kill switch they're going to put in the cars. Well, first of all, before we talk about the kill switch, they're also going to have in the cars cameras and monitoring devices to make sure you're not driving drunk or impaired in any way, sleepy, etc. But the question becomes, how sensitive is this software to how you're driving? And once it decides that there's something wrong with your driving and it shuts your car off, how do you get it turned back on? If it thinks you're driving drunk, does that mean you have to sit and wait until the police come? And then they can say, oh, you're not drunk, and they can push a button and turn it back on? Or, you know people with the home alarm systems, and there's so many false alarms that the police don't even show up anymore? Well, this could happen with the cars, too. All these false alarms that they say, ah, this person's probably not drunk. We're not even going to show up. Or we're going to take hours to show up. So we have that. Then we also have the kill switch. I'd like to know who controls the kill switch. Can anybody in the government just say, I don't want her to drive anymore and push the button? How about a cyber attack or hacking? We already know they can hack automobiles now and turn on your windshield wipers and things like that. And then Say the police can control it. Can they control all the cars in an area or just one? For example, if there's an accident and they say, I have to stop all traffic, can they just hit a kill switch that kills everything? How's it going to work? If your car is turned off in the middle of nowhere, how are you going to get it turned back on? Just like with all the cameras in the car. The other thing that was in the bill was that there had to be at least one back door for third-party access to the system's data at any time. Now, does that mean a back door so that it can be turned on and off, or a back door just so we can see how you're driving? And who then gets control of that data? Who's allowed to look at it? Who has access to it? It just goes on and on. They want to surveil us in every way they can, and they want control of us in every way they can. The other thing is, how about these smart houses they have now? All your appliances tied to the Internet, so you can have the convenience of walking in and say, turn the TV on, turn this light on, turn that light off. If you're using too much power, they will be able to switch it off. If you have a smart meter, your smart meter will be a, connected to all of these appliances, and it can tell what appliance is using too much electric and then switch it off. Did you know that all new appliances have to have a chip in it 
that talks to the smart meter and tells the power company everything it needs to know about where your electric power usage is coming from. The one I would be concerned about, well, I would be concerned about electric being turned off, but also my water being turned off. Well, you're saying, wait a minute, I've got city water and I don't have, they don't have any way to control that. But they can require you to put a meter in just like they require you to do anything. And the town or the city says, you're not going to get water if you don't put the meter in. And then once you put the special meter in, they can turn it on or off. Whoops, you're using too much water, so we're going to turn it off now. So this is all part of the Great Reset and the World Economic Forum. You might own your vehicle, your home, or whatever, but you're not going to be in control of it. They're going to be in control of it. You might have to pay so many fees that you'll say, I don't want to own it, and I'll still be happy. So what they want, you won't own, e you won't own anything, but you'll still be happy. So with that in mind, comment on what you think about all of this. And I know this isn't quite a prepper video, but it is about the surveillance that's coming our way that's really already here. So comment, subscribe, like the video, and thanks for watching.